Next, let's go into pathos. The anticipated emotional reaction to the audience of the content of a speech or written work. Now, what does this mean? When a writer or speaker uses pathos, he or she is counting on making the audience feel a certain emotion. The hope is that this emotion will make the audience more receptive to the writer or speaker's argument. You're basically playing on the audience heartstrings, okay? Making them feel sad, making them feel happy, making them feel angry, persuading them to act in a certain way or feel a certain way, okay? And going back to Calvin, I'm not going to do my math homework, okay? And again, I'm sure many of you feel the same way. Let's see how Calvin uses pathos to persuade Hobbes to let him not do his homework. Look at these unsolved problems. Here's a number, number in mortal combat with another. One of them is going to get subtracted. But why? How? What will be left of him? If I answered these, it would kill the suspense. It would resolve the conflict and turn intriguing possibilities into boring old facts. Basically, he's trying to make you feel sorry for the number who's about to get subtracted. I never really thought about the literary qualities of math. I prefer to savor the mystery. He closes his book. He's not doing his math homework. So in an attempt to persuade Hobbes to let him you know, slide by without doing his math homework, he tries to make Hobbes feel sad for the numbers that are about to be decimated and destroyed by the act of subtraction. <clears throat> now, is it a good argument? Not really. Once again, numbers don't have feelings. But it is a good example of pathos. So, pathos in real life situations. Now, I got this from a website for Feed the Children. There are tens of millions of children who are underfed and homeless. They struggle just to survive. Your donation today will go to Feed the Children, who need help the most right now, and will help to provide life-changing food and essentials to children in desperate need. This is a very good example of pathos. Okay? Tugging at those heartstrings, telling you about millions, millions of children who are underfed or homeless, makes you want to give them some more of your money. Okay? They're persuading you to give money to feed the children. Okay? It's very effective. As a matter of fact, I think I'll go make a donation. I hope this helped out a little bit. Um, if you still have questions, come see me and we'll continue to work through it. Uh, but as it stands, there's pathos, ethos, and logos, and I do hope it, I do hope it helped. All right? Take care.